What's going on everybody, Average Arcader here, and it's time for another base review. I know it's been a while since we had a base review, and I saw another one in a series that we've been covering. This is Millionaire Underground Base 4. We already did 1, 2, and 3, and these ones are decent bases. Let's go ahead and get started. As you guys know, I look for not only bases that look cool, but, you know, functionality. How do they function in a nice survival run? This one, I am happy to say, functions well. It would have seemed that the studio that created this actually was uh, listening to feedback from many people who uh, look at maps like these, like I do, and uh, they've actually changed how the setup is. Normally, a lot of the things in these underground, um, the millionaire underground ones are kind of, uh, the, the setup is kind of it takes a while to get to the things you need to get to they made sure to add beds so you have uh on this first floor you have a couple different beds that you can go to right off the back i know that was one issue i had with one of them there were no beds in it it was a really nice base it had everything you need but there's no beds there's actually a couple of bases that do that they'll create this really elaborate nice base but then they don't put beds in and you're like well i i have to bring a bed in <laughs> and it's not so much that it's this horrible horrible complaint yeah this is where i'm trying to go here it's just like if you want me to be able to use your map you know i shouldn't have to worry about that like in a in a, in a base map and someone's buying a base map they shouldn't have to work on it to use it it should just about have everything they need in it now good this one has a lot of decorative stuff but mostly everything has a use um, you have this nice little pool area here this is mostly mostly decorative but if you want you can fish out of that pool that's why I'm like I'm not really too upset with pools because they would say they're useless no I'm like, you can always fish out of them then when we go to the other side of this first floor which is new now they're gonna they have a big the big storage area that all of these maps have is up on the first floor normally it's a couple floors down you have a little crafting area with storage you have the enchanting room which uh doesn't have any lampus in but it's not too hard to get lampus so i'm not too worried about that and then you have a smithing area too i mean a smelting area too with anvil this is good to have on that first floor now i can instantly come if i go out collect some things come back down i can have access to it right away i don't have to go down a couple floors to do it so that's actually a really nice setup the flow is a little bit better it's a little bit more efficient than having to go a couple floors down to get to like the smelting area or the storage area which a lot of times is where people normally put them in these bases so next level, we have all the different farms. Farms being on the second level is also good too. A lot of people put them at the bottom. So having them in the middle is good because if you're not going from crafting, you're probably looking for food and having to go a couple floors down can get annoying. But the flow of this base is very nice. They've got every level of it structured pretty well to where it has a nice flow to it and over here you have more farming areas like you're going to see a lot of wheat but you can take this wheat out and plant something else if you want you don't have to keep that in there I think they just wanted to add a bunch of different farming areas and they just said oh, let's just put something in there and then they can put in what you want later so it looks cool it's a nice setup and we got everything now i wish there was more stuff planted here but again it wouldn't be too hard 
for us to go out and get it ourselves. So far, this base, like I said, I like it. It's keeping everything where you need. It's a type of base that you could basically set up and not have to leave. I really, really like this. This is the start of a mine. So, so like again, so many of them don't put this in here. So you have to make your mine either outside the base or you have to start tearing the base apart to make your own mine shaft. Having the start of a mine shaft here is just so important because now I have a dedicated place to go. When I want to start mining, you're already underground, which I think is already leveled up to a good area to start mining. And you're ready to go. Only thing, now some of these maps will put like a fence or something here so that while you're mining, nothing comes out of the mine, any dangerous mobs. But I mean, you really don't need that. You can set that up yourself. That's, you know, cut out a little section here and then put a door and then keep going. Like leave these first ones up and keep mining that way. So you can set it up yourself. But I like that they have that. Now you can go, you can start mining right away. You can get Lampus and take it right up to the enchanting area. Like having everything that you need inside the base is really important. And you would be surprised how many base maps don't set up like that. Many of them, a lot of it's just decorative and then they're done. Another area uh, good for fishing. Other than that, it does look cool, but I don't think there'd be any other purpose besides fishing on this right here. And then, another portal. Again, something you think a lot would have, but not really. A lot don't have nether portals in them. You have to make your own or, you know... And then on the other side of this, ew, no, I'm no, I'm trying to get to the other side. I'm not trying. Anyway, there's, there's, there's Nether Root and So Sand on the other side of the, uh, of the um, portal there. So, if you were wanting a potion station or anything like that, you got it. You'll still need to go into the Nether though, find a fortress. Uh, to get the blaze rods because I didn't see any in here but you have a portal in the base so basically you can mine you can eat you can farm without leaving the base and this I like uh, when you have a survival base it's all about getting a good start with it so if you're paying for it, I expect it to have pretty much the basics of what you need to uh, get going on it. So now let's take a look at the overworld. What do we got out here? Well, it doesn't have too much in uh, the different varieties of biomes, but it has a bunch of villages and these are like really full, complete villages with just about everything in that you need. And I think I counted maybe six or seven damage portals with startup gear in them. So that's really cool. And they're all in a close area. Like you're not too far from one another. But as you can see, this village over here is a complete village. It's got just about everything in it. It's got all the different workstations too. So if there's any workstation you want it to take and put in the base in a certain location to customize it for yourself, it's here plenty of villagers i would make an iron golem though to help protect them because i didn't see one when i was in here so uh if you want to keep them all alive you might want to do that um as for the biomes there's a lot of plains a lot of dark spruce wood and cliffs that's about it but that's okay those are all areas that are good for building especially the plains i like the plains because they're semi-flat and that helps when i'm you know re-landscaping Land re-landscaping in minecraft when you're doing survival can take a while but that's why i like finding nice plain areas uh 
because they're flat and then it really 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 helps there's also an illager tower not too far from here but i forget which direction it was in i think it was i think it was on the other side of that village as soon as you got on the other side of that village it pops up but there's no desert really close so no desert temples like i said most of what you got around is big villages that are pretty much complete and then a lot of damage portals so that's going to be it for this one as i stated i feel this is a very good map worth picking up it's i like the setup of it i like how it works uh, they definitely did the design really well uh, making sure you had a lot of the important things on the first floor there linking in and making the taking the time to put in a start of a mine shaft and making sure there's a nether portal these are really important things that a lot of maps don't put in so definitely worth picking it up i would definitely highly recommend checking it out uh but other than that that's it for this review if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like share subscribe and hit that notification button that way you'll learn every time we do a new video we still have a lot going on in the channel right now so make sure to stay tuned and stay entertained. Other than that, Average Arcader out.